Have you ever wondered how the vacuum cleaner came about and evolved? From the rudimentary solution to automated technologies, let's find out how the first vacuum cleaners appeared. Cleaning floors has always been a necessary and demanding activity for people. Before, the only way to remove dust and dirt from carpets was to use a beater or a broom. These methods were inefficient, tedious, and time-consuming. Therefore, the inventors sought to create a device that would facilitate this activity. From the broom, they moved on to the mechanical broom that worked through a manual system of pulleys and cranks that turned a brush to push the dirt into the container. However, this device was not far from the classic broom. Carpet Sweeper, invented by Daniel Hess in 1860, was the next step towards what could be called a vacuum cleaner. Hess's device consisted of drawing fine dust and dirt by means of a stream of air. A little later, in 1869, a machine was developed that approached a vacuum cleaner. The so-called whirlwind, developed by Ives W. McAfee, used a fan to move the air. However, this too proved to be difficult to use and inefficient. In 1898, John S. Truman developed a gasoline vacuum cleaner, being considered the first motorized vacuum cleaner. It blew air and the dirt was collected in a tank. The machine was so big that it had to be pulled by horses. Inspired by a demonstration of Truman's device, Hubert Cecil Booth of England developed in 1901 the first motorized vacuum cleaner that used the same principle as today's vacuum cleaners. Hubert's vacuum cleaner had an internal combustion engine and drew air through a cloth filter and people called it Puffing Billy. And this was pulled by horses, it could not enter the buildings, only its tubes were inserted through the windows. Only in 1905 did the dimension start to decrease when Walter Griffiths developed the compact vacuum cleaner that could be operated by one person. Later in 1907, James Murray Spangler invented the first portable motorized vacuum cleaner. It had a rotating brush, electric fan, a box, and a dust bag. James did not have the money to begin production of his idea, so he sold the patent to William Henry Hoover. Hoover redesigned the vacuum by putting in it a steel box adding hose attachments and calling it the Hoover Model O. To make it known, Henry started doing door-to-door -door demonstrations, the activity of vacuuming the carpet coming to be called Hoovering the Carpet. The 1920s brought new inventions. The Airway Sanitizer Company has introduced a disposable filter fiber bag, the first disposable paper bag for vacuum cleaners. Airway also created the first two motor upright vacuum and was the first to use HEPA filter on a vacuum. In the 1930s, the first plastic vacuum cleaners appeared on the market. Thus, various more or less functional models began to appear. Later in 1952, Hoover stood out again with the Constellation vacuum cleaner. This was a small and versatile vacuum cleaner with a canister that could be positioned in the middle of the room, allowing the user to work around it. In 1963, David Oreck designed a light but powerful vertical vacuum cleaner for the hotel industry. The hotel employees were so impressed by the vacuum cleaner that they asked to buy it for personal use as well. Thus, Oreck's company entered into a partnership with Whirlpool, which involved redesigning old Whirlpool vacuum cleaners. Vacuum cleaner technology has constantly evolved from year to year and from manufacturer to manufacturer. But a major innovation was introduced by James Dyson starting in 1978. After over 5,000 prototypes, Dyson introduced the first bagless vacuum cleaner, being the innovation with which Dyson dominated the vacuum cleaner market for a very long time. In 1979, Black & Decker introduced the Dust Buster, a rechargeable cordless handheld vacuum that was very popular. In the 1996, Electrolux introduced the first robot vacuum cleaner, Electrolux Trilobite, which was a bit problematic because it bumped into objects in the house. The evolution of vacuum cleaner technology continued, and in 2021, Dyson launched the first vacuum cleaner with laser technology, the Dyson V15 Detect. Thanks to a laser built into the floor brush, the dirt on the floor is more detectable, the cleaning being more efficient. Since then, the technologies with which the vacuum cleaners are equipped have constantly evolved, having available dozens of high-performance vacuum cleaners with innovative functions such as self-cleaning or vacuuming and mopping at the same time. Let's not forget one of the most notable developments in this field, autonomous vacuum cleaners or robot vacuum cleaners. They can be controlled from smartphones via dedicated apps, allowing users to turn them on, off, and schedule them remotely. With the help of sensors and mapping technologies, 
They can navigate autonomously through interior spaces, are equipped with advanced filtration systems, can measure the level of dirt in the room, and automatically adjust the suction power. The evolution of the vacuum cleaners is impressive. The vacuum cleaner is currently becoming a real efficient cleaning assistant, and we will certainly continue to see innovations in this field.